Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, somebody was asking me a little bit about the bandwidths in SDR Uno when they're using their SDR play devices and uh, a few little things I want to say. So the first one is some of you go to um, remember your SDR play device RSP1A, RS, uh, RSP2 Pro, RSP2, um, or RSPDX. It's a wideband receiver. It goes all the way up to 2 gigahertz. That includes, of course, the FM band. But a lot of you are asking me, well, I go to the FM band and everything's distorted. I don't understand. Uh, that's because, remember that FM radio is very wide bandwidth. That's why at the top and the main panel where you have the frequency input, you have FM choices. When you are choosing FM, you have NFM, narrow FM. Narrow FM is typically what you'll be using if you listen, for example, to two-meter amateur radio nets. Or if you're listening to uh, what you would be listening on a scanner radio on a VHF, UHF range. That's narrow FM transmissions. The FM broadcast band is in wide FM mode. And there you go. Habit. You'll have better I think you should there. respect the jurisdictions. And you can, of course, play with the bandwidth and even make it uh, wider or smaller if you want. Look at the lines where the bandwidth is and look at the talk. And you'll see that it might be wider. So you see here that the peaks when there's talk go further on each side of the central bandwidth. That is the darker side here. So you can change that. You can say, oh, it seems 80K is not enough. Let's go to 120. Makes it even wider. Often you'll see a difference. To a test, for example, you when see here it says there's RDS information. So it's flashing RDS. To try to save... So Some you can also doses. go even you wider, but too wide is not necessarily a good choice. You know, sometimes it's just wide enough is, indicated. is okay. I don't know if you understand. We can serology so depending on what you're listening that be to. Negative, but we're protected ways. Listening so what they said, we think that you know, the there are some cases of reinfection. So of course, we know different bandwidths. It's the same thing. If we go back to sh uh, shortwave. In shortwave, because if I go to, say, is the, like the first dose, and they want you know, 15, to maintain their protection, seven, seven, zero, sure that they are not should be there. Let's see what happens. Let's go now to uh, AM mode. Now in AM mode, now well, it's weak today. It's, uh, there's eight two five here, which is WWCR. So here, when you listen to the shortwave bands, you don't want to have your bandwidth too big. In general, 6,000 is the standard that you'll want to use. I sometimes use 8,000 because it makes it a little clearer in listening. But this is where you're going to get your bandwidths on the right side. So every mode has its own bandwidth. If I go into, you know, upper sideband to listen to some transmission, uh, you see that there are other bandwidths. Right now, filters at 1800. Usually in upper sideband, you want to have more than that. You want to have maybe 2800 or 3000. Um, if you decode FT8 mode, for example, I'm sure this is at 3000 to get all the frequency other frequencies that are available in FT8 mode, for example. Um, like I say, in this uh, mode, so depending on the mode you choose, you will choose the bandwidth that goes with it. So typical, uh, of course, wide FM for FM broadcast band, if you want to do that. Narrow FM for anything that is amateur radio in the VHF, UHF range or uh, communications. The um, shortwave bands, uh, that, that you will choose AM or uh, upper lower side band or CW. Usually you want to have a bandwidth that reflects what you're going to listen to. Remember, the narrower the bandwidth, the more muffled the sound will be. So in voice, you don't want to be too narrow. You don't want to be too wide either because it doesn't help. So you'll have to choose. And This is experience talking. A lot of the bandwidths of regular radios actually have those sizes of filters so typical am choose around 6000 or 8000 kilohertz 
depending on what you want to have to listen to and how clear you want it. And um, lower or upper sideband. Typically, 2200 could be nice, but 2800 is a little better. will give you a little more richness in the voice. One of the things that's important to note is that when you choose a bandwidth, unfortunately, one of the things I would have enjoyed here is that when you choose a bandwidth, the bandwidth for each mode should be independent. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like this. So if you choose a upper sideband of 2800, when you're back in AM mode, well, now you're at 11K, which is too wide for AM. So you want to have to go back. So remember to look at these filters because if you choose one mode, it's going to stick and not be necessarily the correct bandwidth with another mode of transmission you want to listen to. So you'll have to play around with these. So hope it helps for those that were asking about bandwidths, about, you know, uh, narrow FM, wide FM, and the different bandwidths available uh, to help on the shortwave spectrum. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.